Happy Sunday morning, everybody. I evidently forgot to close the vlog last night. Starting our Sunday morning off with some laundry and a walk. <laughs> so it's supposed to rain later today. Although I don't know, it doesn't really look like it's going to, but I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Uh, we're gonna take crazy pants for a walk this morning before it does storm or whatever it's gonna do this afternoon. And then we have to go to the store. We need a few groceries, so. Um, we'll take her walking first and then she can get kind of tired and then we, she'll be happy to sit in her crate while we go to the store. So that's the plan anyway. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, it is just about lunchtime, 11.58 a.m. on Monday, October 11th. Um, and don't get excited. I only know that because number one, the microwave clock is right there. And number two, I've done this already. So anyway. You know I've um, gotten quite a bit done today. So I got the vlog edited and scheduled and loaded for the week. I got all the weekly Facebook art group posts done and scheduled out. I finally got the stack of Patreon mail all ready to go. I need three stamps and one address. Everything else is ready to go. Um, I'm so surprised. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk. Take nut job, the dog, not Bob, <laughs> out for a walk. <laughs> and see what we can see, get some steps in before dinner. She's been very good all afternoon of being very patient and relaxing while we were both getting a lot of work done and now it's her time to play so we'll go get that done I'll be back well, good morning everybody it is Tuesday morning 9 33 a.m. October 12th I think it has been a morning our morning started at 4 a.m. how about you so don't know what set Lily off. I said before in a pre previous clip, she's got a very finicky stomach um, and she's really a junk food dog. Like don't buy fancy dog food because she'll barf. Um, she just eats Purina. And although we got Purina again, I do think we normally get chicken and rice and this time we got lamb and rice. And maybe that was a mistake because she threw up last night in her crate a few times. And then we got her out of the crate and got it cleaned up and she threw up again. So we're kind of keeping an eye on her this morning. She did have a little bit more dry food. Uh, she's outside at the minute. I don't know, I don't know. And then we just got a text a few minutes ago that my mother-in-law, who's gonna be 93 in a couple of months, fell in her kitchen. She's okay, but she cut herself. I don't know how badly. Bob will call and talk to her later. Paramedics had to come and address it, so it wasn't bad enough for that. 
I'm supposed to go run errands today, but I'm thinking maybe I should just stay home. Maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. What do you think? I'll be back. I don't think she looks very much like she a dog that got sick last night or that isn't feeling well. What do you all think? Lily, want to go for a walk? I haven't done that because she gets like that. But after this morning, I think that's a good indication she's feeling better. What do you all think? <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't barf tonight. And if, if she goes 24 hours without throwing up, I'll be able to cancel the vet appointment she has tomorrow. So, crush it. You know what? It's raining and I don't care. And we're out for a walk. Lily is feeling better, I think. Yeah. She's being her normal, crazy, insane self. That's a good sign. She hasn't coughed or done something weird once. In fact, she hasn't done that in a few hours. So, And she hasn't thrown up since 4 o'clock this morning. So, all good. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.05 a.m. Wednesday, October 13th, I think, maybe. Um, anyway, Lily seems to be doing better. She hasn't thrown up in uh, 24 hours. We found out from the kids late last night, and I don't know at the time of filming this if I've said yet or not, that she does this evidently like once a month. We knew she had a sensitive stomach. I already knew that. I didn't know that she was doing it like once a month. Um, their vet has advised them to, um, that she's just a dog with a sensitive stomach and stress or the wrong food or just too much grass or whatever will just set her off and she'll throw up. If it lasts more than two or three days, give her a low dose Pepsid AC and, um, they've said she takes it like in her, you don't have to do anything special. You just put it in her bowl of food and she'll take it with the food and she eats it and it's not a problem. So... Although she's better right now, I'm going to go out and go get her some said Pepsi. And um, they told me what kind to get and how much to give her and all that. So we'll have it for her. I also now, because we have an abundance now of dry food, I need to go get some containers to keep it in rather than the bag so it stays fresh longer. And yeah, so I was going to go to Dollar Tree also yesterday, but then the dog got sick and I was going to go to Value Village too, to be fair, but now I'm not going to do that like to go on Tuesdays. It's senior discount day and I qualify. <laughs> I don't need anything, but you know, I like a discount. All right.
morning, everybody. It is Thursday, October 14th, 8.24 a.m. Don't get excited. I had to stop and look. You saw a little bit of footage of me dumping some old inks and um, purchased ones and DIY ones that were drying up or getting gross into some bags of fabric here. We are going to just let them soak for a few days. That's right, days. They are in this plastic tub. Um, I'm going to leave them outside here somewhere um, just so they're out of the way or in the garage on the workbench. Maybe behind that. Maybe. Um, and then in a few days, um, in between rainstorms, because we're about to get a bunch of rainstorms, I will rinse them off um, outside because they're full of ink. So I don't want that in the house or the sink. So um, it, I just took a bunch of old fabric that I had and I just put them in Ziploc bags, dumped like colors together, and we'll just see what happens. Um, when it's done, I'll treat it like any other dye job and I'll rinse most of the leftover ink off of the fabric outside until the water runs clear or fairly clear and then we'll run it through the washing machine and we'll see what happens i don't know it might be a big failure um but we'll find out i also rearranged and reorganized some stuff in the art room got rid of some old mediums and inks that were drying up and things i was never going to use and that were just really past it not even good enough to pass along to be honest now of course i have to relabel a few things because you know yeah, I also put out some inks that I've had in my stash that I want to use that were to put away out of sight. And by the way, you saw my hands were inky. Here's the other hand that was really red. Murphy's oil soap and some kind of scrubby sponge thing. We'll get it right off. Yes, I know I smell like Murphy's, but that's fine. All right, that's it for the minute. I will be back. Okay, it's taken a long time, but I'm making progress over here. Each one of these shelves used to have two bins on it and then two bins on the floor. I'm doing pretty good, don't you think? Using it up, letting it go. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, so all three of the videos I got edited in the last couple of days are loaded to YouTube and scheduled out. The first one is um, not going to air, or the first one. The last one will air until the first week of de November. Um, and you just saw me mix three sort of pastel -y colors of paint to use on the next episode of The Messy Journaler, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm listening to Mike Deacon's vlog while I'm doing all of that, so yeah. I rearranged things. I hope I can find stuff. <laughs> it looks better and it's more organized, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. to find out where they got those eyeballs because that's cool. Fun fact, I like Halloween better than Christmas. It's a thing. I don't know what to tell you. I'll be yes. back. I know some of you find it disgusting, but I love candy corn. So there. But it's got to be Brock's. Otherwise, why bother? I'll be back. Uh, it's just before 11 a.m. on Friday, October 15th. Welcome to a foggy Saturday morning in Oregon. It's colder than it should be this time of year. It's a lot foggier than it usually is this time of year. It's in the mid 40s. Yeah, so, um, whoa. Um, <laughs> even before um, I read any um, news articles about it this morning, um, some friends and I were talking who also live in different parts of Oregon and we kind of all agree that we're sort of expecting a colder winter. If we don't have one, we're kind of all, all gonna be surprised. So yeah, anyway. So we're headed out for a walk before lunch. We got our errands done, but if you saw this clip, you saw some clips from Costco. While it was pretty well stocked, it was very, very people-y, even more than a normal Saturday morning. Fred Meyer had some empty shelves. Yeah, Fred Meyer had some empty shelves and were missing supplies. So we had to make a few substitutions, but to be honest, I didn't feel like it was anything more than we, we've been seeing throughout COVID, at least not yet. Um, there were a few people who didn't have masks on, but again, not too many people were actually pretty good about it. Um, there was just a lot of people out. So anyway, we're going for a walk now. <clears throat> Before we have lunch, Lily goes home this afternoon. Um, so I'll take her for one last walk before that happens. And then after she goes home, we can set Hazel to do the floors and clean up all the dog hair, <laughs> which is everywhere. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'm going to go see what I can see and I'll be back.
Anyway, as you just saw, I was rinsing out the ink and dyes out of the fabric, and I now have it in the washing machine. I got 99, 95% of the ink and dye out. Um, I have it in there with some of my painting rags and household rags, and I use fabric rags for my paint for a long time. I have for a long time. Um, how I wash them is I run them in the washing machine with some washing machine cleaner soap, which currently I have OxyClean brand, and you run it in there. Um, this one is with hot water. I think they're all a little bit different, but um, you put the soap in usually in the washing machine and with nothing in it, and you run it on a cleaning cycle. Um, when I'm doing the rags, I do all that, only it's not empty. There's rags in there. And then once that cycle is done, I'll run it one or two more times with no soap, just the rags, to sort of rinse any extra residue out of the rags and out of the machine. Um, then I'll take them out and I'll do one load with clothes that don't matter, dark colors, maybe empty uh, with regular soap to just try to uh, get the rest of anything else that might be in there out or test it. Sometimes what I do is look up here in my closet and find white or light colored rags like this one, put that in there and then see if it comes out still that same color <laughs> or not. Um, I haven't had a problem with that in a, long, in a long time. I've been doing this for a really long time since way before we moved and it has never been an issue. So. I forget that it's a freaking mir miracle. I didn't get dialed down my brand new shirt when I was rinsing out that fabric. Honestly. <laughs> All right, so I hope you've had a great week. That's our week in a wrap up. Uh, hold on, chicken broth. It's not, I've already had my coffee. Anyway, <sighs> this next week is filled with activity, which I'll fill you in on when the time comes. Uh, but it has been a good week this last week. We enjoyed having Lily but it was time for her to go home. Uh, she's a sweet dog, but she needs to go home at some point. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for the moment. I hope you've all had a good one. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you ever do any artwork inspired by anything you see on my channel or you see me share on social media, please do share it Please in, in A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Please do tag me in the post so I can see it. I would love to see what you're doing. Ah, yeah. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. Uh, not including, not only including links to places where you can buy paid for classes for me, where you can join my Patreon and support the free content here on YouTube, where you can buy original artwork and other stuff in my Etsy shop. Um, yeah, all of that's down below, so check it out. Um, some of it's in my link tree list of links. So click on that. You'll find a whole bunch of stuff. All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.